Hey everyone, it's Kelsey. So today I have another haul video. I know I said I was done, but I guess I wasn't. So anyway, um, I went to the mall this weekend in Monroe, Louisiana with my friends. So hey y'all, if uh, y'all are watching. Anyway, I went to Ulta. They just recently built an Ulta there and it is absolutely beautiful in there. And then we also went to Forever 21 and Bath and Body Works and I got a few things. You know, my haul videos are never really that small. But anyway, um, I wanted to show y'all what I got. So I'll start with the Ulta stuff first. Um, I was, all the things that I got except for the blush, I really actually needed. So I'm just going to go with that. <laughs> Um, I got a new powder and I've been watching Miss Glamorazzi's videos and she's been talking about how amazing the Maybelline Dream Matte Powder is and I decided to go pick it up. So I got the color number, light, it, well it's light 4 or 5 but the color is called cream. But anyway it's pretty much the lightest color they have. And this powder is really, really nice. It's very finely milled. It's just really nice. Um, it doesn't leave a powdery texture on my skin. It just feels really smooth and everything. So that's what it looks like. Um, how many ounces? Comes with 0.32 ounces or 9 grams of product. And then on the bottom, you can twist it. And there's a little powder puff and then there's a mirror underneath that, but I've never used it and I probably won't ever use it. But this powder is really, really nice. It creates a matte finish, but it doesn't make you look really, really flat. So I've been enjoying that a lot and it's a lot cheaper than the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish that I've been using. I also got a Maybelline Dream Lumi Touch Highlighting Concealer. I got the color Radiant. And this is what it looks like. She's also been raving about this concealer and I can truly understand why. This is one of the best concealers I've ever used out of the drugstore. It is so pigmented, it's just crazy. And I just used this underneath my eyes and I mean it is insane. My Benefit Erase Paste covers just about as well as this does. It, um, this actually covers better than the Benefit one and I'm just blown away by how good it is. And it's so convenient. You just screw the little thing and it pops out and you can just, ah, uh, it's just amazing. And then I got a L'Oreal Power Volume Collagen Waterproof Mascara. I'm not really sure how I feel about this yet because of the brush. The brush is kind of crazy, I think. It's not huge, but it's a little bigger than I like my brushes. And the bristles are kind of, I don't know, they're dispersed really weird, but the color is really nice. And I did notice that it makes, I mean, it just makes my eyelashes look so, so long. But as far as volumizing quality goes, I'm not really sure how I feel about this just yet. So. I will probably go more in depth with that later on. Then I needed a new toner because I do have a video coming up of products that I've used up and there have been a lot and I have forgotten to keep a lot of the packaging for them but I've remembered what products that I've used and what products I haven't used up completely. So now I'm trying to keep the packaging of the products that I have used up so I can show you guys what I've gone through. But um, I decided to get a new toner because I got done using one of mine. And so I got the Mario Badescu Special Cleansing Lotion Zero or O, whatever it is. This was actually not as expensive as I thought it was going to be. This comes with eight ounces of product and it was $15. I was really surprised by how cheap this was and compared to my other toner that I just got done with, this is a much better deal. But um, it's got some white stuff on the bottom of it so you have, you have to shake it up before you use it. I think it's some kind of powder in the bottom but 
basically this is for acne prone skin um, I like it but I don't at the same time because I like using toners to remove my makeup I know that's probably not the best way to do it but that's the most convenient way for me and it's better than not removing your makeup right so anyway um, this is what I use and it kind of stings it's a really strong astringent like product but um, I do like it because it leaves my skin feeling super, super clean. So, anyway. Then, Benefit had this little deal. It was a, you know, kind of a gift deal. Um, it's a little thing called It's About Prime. And this is what the box looks like. So, you get a... I needed a face primer because I'm actually running out of my Estee Lauder one. And... I wanted to find something a little cheaper, but um, I don't know how long I'm going to be using this one. Um, I haven't really tried it out yet, but anyway. Um, so I can't really judge it. But anyway, um, it comes with a Porefessional Pro Balm, which is their face primer. And it is actually a colored face primer. So... That's what it looks like. It's kind of flesh toned. Um, one thing I've noticed about primers is I cannot use clear ones because the clear ones tend to leave this really horrid, oily feeling film on my face. This one does not. It feels really nice. So um, I like using colored primers more than the clear ones. But it comes with, I guess this is a full size of the... Uh, professional they did have a bigger size I think it was like a Ulta exclusive the bigger one but this is a 0.75 ounce bottle so if this is the full size let me know I'm not sure if it is or not but then it also came with a small uh, triple performing facial emulsion and I love how the bottle looks just like the big one does even though it's a smaller size the bottle is so cute this is a really nice facial moisturizer. I've used it for the past two days now and it doesn't leave my skin feeling super, super sticky, but it's not so lightweight to where I feel like I haven't put anything on my face, which I like that because I don't like using super, super thin moisturizers because after you apply them and they soak in, it leaves your skin kind of feeling almost dry, like you haven't put anything on it. So. This um, is the perfect balance. It's, uh, I don't know, I may have to go pick up a full size of this, but so far I'm loving that. But anyway, that was the little It's About Prime kit, and it was $30, so I thought this was a pretty good deal. And then I also got one more of the Tarte blushes. I got the one in Blushing Bride. And it's, it kind of reminds me of Flush, but it's a lot more wearable. But it also has a shimmer to it. So I don't know if you can see the shimmer, but it's really pretty. It's kind of like a nice plum color. It's really pretty. So I really liked it a lot. This was my one little splurge item that I didn't really need, but I've been looking at it, so I decided to get it. But anyway... Uh, let's see, next I'll go over the candles. I love the candles. So Bath & Body Works, if you don't know this already, where have you been? They're having their 2 for 20 candles, uh, or buy one, get one free, but basically it's like 2 for 20, so basically you can save their $10 a piece. They're candles, and these candles are really, really good. They're the three wick candles, which I like a lot more because they burn evenly. They don't burn just down the center and then leave all the rest of this around everywhere. But I got four of them. This one I have been burning nonstop ever since I got it. It is called Marshmallow Fireside. And that's what it looks like. It's got a nice gold top to it too. I love how pretty these jars are. So. Even after I'm done with them, I will probably recycle the packaging and use it for a different purpose like I did with my Yankee Candle. I use this as a little cotton ball container and it works 
perfectly well and it looks really pretty too, I think. So, I got that one. Um, this one, the description on it is a sweet toasty into a long cold day. Toasted marshmallows and sumptuous vanilla cream blend with a comforting aroma of rich smoldering woods. So, love the smell of it. It just smells amazing. I love when they come out with fall scents because I love that woodsy kind of a smell a lot. The next one that I got is called Cider Lane and you can kind of guess what it smells like. It smells like apple cider and cinnamon. Uh, it smells really good as well. Then the next one, I'm just going to put the bag down here. The next one that I got is the Mahogany Teakwood. Oh my gosh, this one smells amazing. It smells kind of like men's cologne. Oh, it's just got a very clean scent to it. The, um, the scents of fine woods, mahogany, cedar wood, and oak, highlighted by delicate lavender and geranium notes, conjure up an escape to a cozy library on a chilly fall day. Oh, I love the smell of it. <laughs> and the last one I got is called Autumn Day. And that's what it looks like. It's a green one, so it's actually colored. Um, the, this one says, A crisp autumn melody of celebrating the changing seasons and the beauty of the harvest with, wood, with notes of fresh cut cedar, juicy fig, and sandalwood. So yeah, this one to me smells kind of like how Christmas should smell but it's called Autumn Day, so anyway. Those were all the candles that I got. I love, love, love their candles. Now for the clothes. I love the clothes. I went a little crazy in Forever 21. I spent $166, but when you consider what all I got, that's really a good deal. Okay, this is the first jacket that I got. It's, oh, it's amazing, I love it. Anyway, it is a leather, ish kind of a motorcycle jacket and it comes kind of high up in the back but it's not too bad um the the um the collar of it you can kind of do it over like that or leave it back and it's got an uneven zipper on the side of it it's just super super cute and then it's got um it's got these zippers on the sides right here where you can zip it up or zip it down and then you have these amazing spikes on the shoulders and it's got little shoulder pads in it so it's kind of, I don't know, it's more structured looking I guess but this is one of the jackets that I got. It was around $40. Okay this, yes you are seeing double is the exact same jacket but I loved it so much I had to get the other color as well. So this is the black one and just kind of see what it looks like I also got this little black sheer top it's really cute it's just sheer and then the back's got a nice cutout to it and then I've got my little leather tube top underneath it I got it as well but I didn't think that showing off a leather tube top would be anything too spectacular so I just put it underneath this but the one thing I really love about this is the cute little pattern of the collar. It's got kind of a cheetah print, leopard print collar, and it's kind of metallic, so it gives it a little something extra. But um, on to the next shirt. This is another tank top that I got. It's just lace, so I had to have something underneath it. But it completely zips up the back. don't know if you can see that. But anyway, I thought this shirt was really, really cute, so I decided to get it. It's kind of cute for the club and whatnot. Okay, this is the last shirt that I got. It's just a really nice kind of sheer top. It's in a tannish color, I guess, um, but I love the color block detailing of it. I found a shirt in Victoria's Secret that was exactly like this, but I could never find my size and the color and everything. And then when I found this one, I absolutely died. I just was like, I have to have it because I love color blocking. It's one of my favorite trends. So you can see the color block details of the pockets, 
they're just fake pockets, but then it's got these nice gold buttons, and then you've got the little strip thing right there, and then on the sleeve as well. So that is my shirt. So that is it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe up there. And I will have some more videos for you coming up soon. So thanks again. Bye!